Hey everyone, Lauren Alvin with Adipup Dog Puppy Training. Let me keep my uh, shutter going. <sighs> me and Nina want to talk about saliency and overshadowing of stimuli, which is to say, treats. Put your treats away. <laughs> I've got a lot of sayings. Um, this is another one, pay and away. Treats, food, are payments for services rendered. They're reinforcers for behaviors, for good decisions. It's also a means to change brain chemistry uh, and a means to enrichment and all sorts of other stuff. But we're talking about it as a reinforcer. They get their paycheck and then it goes away. They get their paycheck and it goes away. I want to pay for good decisions. So I click the dog the moment they're doing whatever it is I want them to do, the moment they're making the decision I want them to do on their own, when they go, oh, I put my butt in the ground, boop, click and treat. When someone's running by them going, what a cute dog, I love it if they jump on me, and they go, mm -hmm, look at mom, click and treat. We're paying for decisions. If we have, I'll show you, if we have cheese in front of the dog's nose, the only decision she's gonna make is cheese. <laughs> Everything else is overshadowed by the cheese. So sometimes this is useful. If you're in a situation where you don't think your dog is gonna be able to succeed, get some cheese in front of their nose and get through it and that's fine. Next time will be a training session. Um, prevent them from practicing the behavior you don't want. It's the second best, it's fine. But if you wanna teach them how to do stuff, if you're in a training session, you want them to be making the decisions you want them to make, not cheese decisions. <laughs> so magnets come in really handy when you're teaching something new for a lure. Um, but once you get out of the do this with your body into the decide to do this with your body, then we are clicking for decisions, we're paying for decisions, which means we need to take this out of the equation. So we want the dog to know what they're doing. If she's got the cheese, all she knows is cheese, 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 even though I'm going spin, spin dog, spin, spin, spin. She's just like cheese, mama. If we're doing something exciting, if we're working on uh, polite greetings or place distractions or something, I want her to know what she's ignoring. I want her to know the decision of what she's choosing to leave alone. So if I'm distracting her with this while all of the distractions are going by, those aren't the distractions, that's the distraction. Um, she's learning to look at cheese when there's goodies by, rather than, you see that, that thing, that's cool, look how you're maintaining your composure and making good decisions, even when something exciting is going on, here's your paycheck for that. So, pay and away, pay and away. Cheese is always gonna overpower, <laughs> she's snorting. Cheese is always gonna overpower whatever you're saying, unless you work really hard on it. Um, your body language, Depending on the yumminess of your treat and the situation, your body language will likely overpower your treat, um, but it depends. But whatever it is, your words are gonna be at the bottom. And doing dumb human things, like keeping your feet on the floor when you're excited, is gonna be at the bottom. <laughs> so if we want them to choose to do those things and to choose to do those things around distractions, we have to know, we have to let them know what they're doing, pay them for doing that, pay them for the decision, and let them see what they're ignoring. So I'll give you a little demo with uh, loose leash walking. You grab your leash. Nina's pretty good at this. This is one of the reasons, and Frank, why I like to have my treats on the opposite side of the dog when I'm walking. If you store your treats on the same side, they're never away. They're just up, see? <laughs> so she could just be following the treat. If you're careful with your click timing and you know, raise your criteria gradually as you should be, then you'll get away with it, it's totally fine. It's six of one, half dozen of the other. But I'm focused on teaching dogs to make decisions. So if this is the decision she's making, that's not the decision I want. So I have my treats on the opposite side. I'll show you what pay in a way looks like in this. I'm going to take a picture of her where I want her, pay her where I want her, and then it goes away. Come on. Pay and away. Pay and away. If she were brand new at this, we were somewhere exciting, it might be rapid fire. But see, it's going away in between. I'm clicking in the split second. She's doing it on her own, by herself. 
by yourself. Does that make sense? If I've got the cheese out, she's just deciding cheese. When the cheese is away, I'm catching that split second of her doing it by herself. This would come in at the very beginnings of stay, too. So if we're teaching a dog to stay or wait, and I usually call it, come here, sit. Thank you. Stay. Good job. Stay. Good job. First, I just have to ask her to remain seated when the tree's not in front of her nose. Stay. Good job. You managed it. Stay. Good job. Stay. Good job. Okay. Good job. So the click is to say, good decision, I like that. Reinforcer is her paycheck, and then the paycheck goes away, so she's capable of making a decision again. The cheese is in front, the only decision she's making is cheese. All right, pay and away, pay and away. I'll put words up, pay and away. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it in the video, I'm not that good. Um, hide your treats. It's going to overshadow anything else you got going on in your environment. And if you want your dog to learn how to do stuff by themselves, then you got to teach them how to do that by themselves. And paychecks come at the end of the week. <laughs> All right, we have games night on February 9th. It's my furry Valentine. We're going to do, I forget what I put up. I know there's a game called Who Do You Love? And I debated for a long time because it should be Whom Do You Love? Uh, so I, I, I typed in who do you love on the event and I'm like, no, this is incorrect. So there's whom do you love a game, uh, which is kind of like musical chairs. And what was the other one I was going to do? I don't recall. It'll be fun. $5 a dog goes for Otis's sake. Uh, no special skills required. Dog friendly, people friendly dogs. Um, everyone's on leash, so you don't have to be like play friendly, but not reactive. Choke shock and prong colors are strictly prohibited as usual. The mini classes start February 13th. That's going to be the little bitty minis for small breed dogs, 25 pounds and under. We've got the senior dog class starting March 13th for dogs eight years and up. And our tricks classes are starting February 8th. Little Miss Nina might be in the advanced one. Uh, uh, uh. That's for graduates of the first tricky class. Uh, it's tricky is for graduates of beginner good manners. So you need a little background to get in there. Let me know if you have any questions. You're all awesome. Pay and away, keep your treats hidden so your dog can learn what you need them to learn. Take care. Bye-bye.